Space and Science News with James. In the universe, countless stars twinkle in the darkness. But among them, the smallest and most numerous hold a secret. And dwarf stars, often overlooked, might just be the key to unlocking the greatest mystery of all, are we alone in the universe? Recent discoveries have shaken the scientific community. Planets orbiting these tiny stars, once thought to be cosmic wastelands, may actually harbor the ingredients for life. It's a revelation that's turning our understanding of habitability on its head. Today, we'll be talking about rocky planets orbiting small stars and their potential for stable atmospheres, because why not? The implications are staggering. Could these worlds, bathed in the dim light of red dwarfs, be oases of life in the cosmic desert? But there's a twist. The very stars that give these planets a chance at life also threaten to strip away their atmospheres. It's a cosmic tug of war with the highest stakes imaginable. As we peer through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, we're on the brink of answering questions that have haunted humanity for centuries. Are these distant worlds barren rocks, or could they be teeming with alien life? Let's dive deep into this subject of rocky planets orbiting small stars and uncover the truth hiding in plain sight among the stars. The quest for extraterrestrial life has entered an exhilarating new phase with the launch of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope in late 2021. This powerful observatory has revolutionized our ability to detect potential signs of life on exoplanets, those distant worlds orbiting stars beyond our solar system. As we peer into the cosmic depths, our attention has been drawn to a particular class of celestial bodies, rocky planets circling low-mass stars known as M-dwarfs. M-dwarfs, also called red dwarfs, are the most common type of star in the universe, making up about 75% of all stars in the Milky Way. Their abundance and longevity make them prime targets in the search for habitable worlds. Among these, the TRAPPIST-1 system has emerged as a focal point of scientific interest. Located a mere 40 light-years away, this M-dwarf star hosts seven Earth-sized planets, several of which orbit within the star's habitable zone. The TRAPPIST-1 system represents a unique opportunity for astronomers and astrobiologists. Its proximity to Earth and the nature of its planets make it an ideal laboratory for studying potential extraterrestrial environments. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced instruments allow us to analyze the atmospheres of these distant worlds with unprecedented detail, searching for chemical signatures that could indicate the presence of life. As we continue to explore systems like TRAPPIST-1, we edge closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? The search for life beyond Earth has captured human imagination for centuries, and now, with cutting-edge technology at our disposal, we stand on the brink of potentially groundbreaking discovery. Previous research had cast doubt on the habitability of planets orbiting M-dwarfs like TRAPPIST-1. Scientists were concerned that intense ultraviolet radiation from these stars would strip away surface water, leaving planets desiccated and potentially covered in reactive oxygen that could inhibit the chemistry necessary for life to emerge. This scenario painted a bleak picture for the prospects of life on worlds circling these small, red stars. However, a groundbreaking study has shed new light on this cosmic conundrum, offering a glimmer of hope for alien life enthusiasts. The research suggests that a specific sequence of events during the evolution of certain rocky planets orbiting M dwarfs could result in the formation of stable atmospheres over time. This finding challenges the previously held notion that all planets around M dwarfs are doomed to be barren, irradiated worlds. The study reveals a complex interplay between a planet's interior, its atmosphere, and the radiation from its host star. While it's true that M dwarfs emit intense UV radiation, especially during their early, more active phases, some planets may have mechanisms to counteract this hostile environment. The key lies in the planet's ability to outgas and retain certain atmospheric components, creating a protective shield against the star's harsh radiation. Joshua Christensen Totten, a lead researcher, emphasizes the significance of this finding. One of the most intriguing questions right now in exoplanet astronomy is, can rocky planets orbiting M dwarf stars maintain atmospheres that could support life? Our findings give reason to expect that some of these planets do have atmospheres, which significantly enhances the chances that these common planetary systems could support life. This research opens up new avenues for exploration and challenges us to reconsider our understanding of planetary habitability. It suggests that the story of life in the universe may be more resilient and adaptable than we previously thought, potentially thriving in environments we once considered impossible. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, 
plays a crucial role in the search for potentially habitable exoplanets, particularly those orbiting M dwarf stars. Its advanced capabilities allow for detailed observations of planetary systems around these small, cool stars. Early data from JWST has provided insights into the atmospheres of rocky planets orbiting M dwarfs. For instance, observations of the TRAPPIST-1 system, located 40 light years away, suggest that some of its innermost planets likely lack substantial atmospheres. The telescope has successfully measured heat radiating from TRAPPIST-1c, ruling out a thick carbon dioxide atmosphere for this rocky world. However, the telescope faces challenges in characterizing planets in the Goldilocks zone, the region where conditions might be suitable for liquid water. These temperate planets, slightly farther from their host star, are of particular interest in the search for potentially habitable worlds. Observing them requires significant telescope time, with new research suggesting it could take hundreds of hours of JWST observing time to detect atmospheres on these planets with a high degree of certainty. The telescope's sensitivity to infrared light makes it ideal for studying cooler, more distant objects. This capability has led to discoveries beyond just exoplanets, including the identification of brown dwarfs, objects too small to become stars but larger than planets, in the Orion Nebula. JWST's observations are crucial in understanding the diversity of planetary systems and the potential for life beyond Earth. As more data is collected, scientists hope to gain a clearer picture of the atmospheric conditions on various types of exoplanets, particularly those orbiting M dwarf stars. The University of Washington led study employed sophisticated computer models to simulate the evolution of rocky planets orbiting M dwarf stars. These simulations track the planet's development from their initial molten state through hundreds of millions of years of cooling and solidification. The results provided fascinating insights into the potential for stable atmospheres on these worlds. The models revealed a complex interplay between a planet's interior, its atmosphere, and the radiation from its host star. During the early stages of planetary evolution, hydrogen and other light gases readily escaped into space due to the intense heat and radiation from the young M dwarf star. However, for planets located farther from their host star, where temperatures are more moderate, a different process unfolded. In these cooler regions, hydrogen reacted with oxygen and iron in the planet's interior, producing water and heavier gases. This chemical process resulted in the formation of an atmosphere that the simulations suggest could remain stable over long periods. The heavier gases produced by these reactions are less likely to escape the planet's gravity, contributing to the atmosphere's longevity. Furthermore, the study revealed an intriguing phenomenon for planets within the Goldilocks zone, the region around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. In these cases, water tends to rain out of the atmosphere relatively quickly. This process makes it less likely for water to escape into space, potentially creating conditions favorable for retaining this essential ingredient for life. The simulations also considered the long-term effects of stellar radiation and planetary cooling. As the M dwarf star settles into its main sequence phase and its radiation output stabilizes, the planet's atmosphere continues to evolve. The interplay between atmospheric escape, chemical reactions, and the planet's internal heat creates a dynamic system that can, under the right conditions, lead to a stable, potentially life-supporting environment. These findings challenge previous assumptions about the habitability of planets orbiting M dwarf stars and open up new avenues for exploration in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. The findings from recent studies on rocky planets orbiting M dwarf stars have significant implications for the ongoing search for life beyond our solar system. While the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has not yet definitively determined whether more temperate planets like those in the TRAPPIST-1 system have atmospheres, the potential for their existence is tantalizing. If these planets do possess atmospheres, it could indicate the presence of surface liquid water and climates potentially conducive to life. However, the search for habitable worlds around M dwarf stars faces several challenges. Recent evidence suggests that planets orbiting these stars may be uninhabitable due to the mismatch between their liquid water and ultraviolet habitability zones. Life requires both liquid water and the right amount of ultraviolet radiation, but for M dwarf stars, these zones often do not overlap. Additionally, the intense radiation during the pre-main sequence phase of M dwarfs could strip away water from these planets or trap it on their cold night sides. Despite these challenges, some researchers remain optimistic. Studies have shown that subglacial melting could extend the habitable region around M dwarf stars. These subglacial oceans, protected by ice layers from energetic stellar radiation, 
could provide safe environments for the evolution of organic life over extended periods. The JWST and future extremely large ground-based telescopes will play crucial roles in characterizing the atmospheres of potentially habitable exoplanets. However, as Christensen Totten points out, we will only be able to study a small number of habitable zone rocky planets' atmospheres in the near future. This limitation underscores the importance of carefully selecting targets and investing significant telescope time in these observations. Recent observations of planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system have provided mixed results. While TRAPPIST-1b appears to lack a significant atmosphere, studies of TRAPPIST-1c suggest it may have only a tenuous atmosphere with minimal carbon dioxide. These findings highlight the complexity of planetary evolution around M-dwarf stars and the need for continued, detailed observations. As we continue to explore space and search for signs of life beyond Earth, studies like these bring us closer to answering the profound question of whether we are alone in the universe. The rocky worlds orbiting small stars may indeed hold the keys to unlocking this cosmic mystery. However, the search requires patience, advanced technology, and a nuanced understanding of the various factors that contribute to planetary habitability. The quest for life in the cosmos remains one of the most exciting and challenging endeavors in modern science, driving technological innovations and pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. As we explore the fascinating potential of rocky planets orbiting small stars, it becomes clear that the universe is full of surprises. The research surrounding M dwarfs and their planets challenges our previous notions of habitability and opens the door to new possibilities. These worlds, once dismissed as inhospitable, may actually possess stable atmospheres capable of supporting life. The implications of these findings are profound. With the James Webb Space Telescope leading the charge, we stand on the brink of potentially groundbreaking discoveries. Each observation could bring us closer to answering one of humanity's most enduring questions, are we alone in the cosmos? The tantalizing prospect that life might exist on these distant planets ignites our curiosity and fuels our desire to explore further. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the intriguing realm of rocky planets and their potential for life. If you found this topic as captivating as we do, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any future explorations into the mysteries of the universe. Your support helps us continue to bring you exciting content about the wonders of space and science. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility of life on these rocky worlds? Share your ideas in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars, because who knows what incredible discoveries await us just beyond our reach. Thanks for watching remember to like, subscribe, comment, share and click that notification bell so you never miss out. See you next week.